Knoxville Police Department posted on Twitter this morning. Many people are forgetting that school zone speed limits are in effect now that students are back in class. The school district and Knoxville Police are working to keep your children safe. 10 News reporter Chris Lucas shares some reminders before you hit the road. Hey Robin, not following the posted speed limit signs can change your life and another family's life forever. The Tennessee Department of Safety says it is four times more likely a speeding accident to turn fatal than a non-speeding one. Officials say drivers should be cautious of school zones now that the school year started. Well, I think it's important because um, there are some times the kids don't listen and they're just wandering around and they could just go off the street and you know you never know so i think it's really important for y'all to slow down because it's it's hard now to lose a child and keeping kids safe is the number one priority since some of you may have forgotten school zone rules over the summer here's what you need to know now that the school's opened, it's even more important for drivers to pay more attention and slow down when they see crosswalks, just like the one right behind me. Speed limits in school zones are 20 miles per hour unless it's otherwise posted. When it comes to school buses, you need to stop if a school bus is stopped and has its red lights flashing. You can't pass it or go until the bus driver brings down the yellow stop arm and red lights are off. If you do break the rules, you could have to pay up to $1,000 and go to court because the safety of kids depends on it. Hey, drivers, please slow down. For the next two weeks, KPD says they are doing enhanced school zone traffic enforcement. This means they will send more officers than usual during school arrival and dismissal hours. Robin? Slow down and pay attention. All right, Krissa, thank you.